But first tonight, breaking news. We've confirmed state police are conducting an active investigation into a state lawmaker. We've learned State Senator Nick Kettle's home was visited by investigators early this morning. Let's get right to Target 12 investigator Tim White with the latest. Tim. Mike and Shannon, information on this investigation is thin, but sources tell me the state police probe into State Senator Nick Kettle does not directly involve his official duties as a lawmaker. Now, troopers were seen at Kettle's Coventry home early this morning. Coventry Police Chief John McDonald tells me state police were there around 6 this morning. Kettle's house is down this long dirt driveway you're looking at right now. Kettle, a 27-year-old Republican, was first elected to the state Senate in 2010. He was fined $2,000 by the Board of Elections earlier this month for campaign finance discrepancies, but an elections official tells me state investigators did not reach out to them and the campaign finance case was handled as a civil matter. Now, I spoke with Lieutenant Colonel Joseph Philbin from the state police who confirmed they are actively investigating Senator Kettle, but he declined to provide more details. Again, sources tell Target 12 this investigation does not directly center around Kettle's duties as an elected official. I reached out to Senator Kettle this afternoon, but he did not return my call. This is a developing story, and we'll bring you the latest coming up at 6 o'clock and on WPRI.com. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. And now breaking news, there is an active state police investigation tonight into a Rhode Island state senator. And it was first breaking live at 5. We've learned state police were at Senator Nick Kettle's Coventry home this morning. Target 12 investigator Tim White's been working the story all day. He joins us now live in studio with the latest on what else he's uncovered. Tim. Mike and Shannon, I just got off the phone with Senator Kettle's attorney who tells me the case has nothing to do with him as a lawmaker and it's actually over a breakup with a girlfriend. He says the state police have seized a computer and a cell phone from his house. His attorney says he doesn't expect his client will be charged, but he does expect Senator Kettle will likely step down as a lawmaker. Early Tuesday morning, state police investigators paid a visit to State Senator Nick Kettle's Coventry home, his house at the end of this long dirt driveway. The colonel of the Coventry police telling Target 12 state troopers were there at around 6 a.m. It's unclear if investigators had a court-authorized search warrant. State Police Lieutenant Colonel Joseph Philbin confirms for Target 12 they have an active investigation but declined to provide more details. Kettle, a 27-year-old Republican, was first elected to the state Senate in 2010. Earlier this month, he was fined $2,000 by the Board of Elections for campaign finance violations, but an elections official says the case was handled as a civil matter, not criminally, and the state police did not ask for Kettle's records. A member of the Finance Committee, Kettle's seat in the Senate was empty Tuesday afternoon at the start of the General Assembly session. Lawmakers are tight-lipped at the State House right now, declining to comment because they say they don't know much about the investigation. Again, I spoke with Kettle's attorney, Paul DeMeo, who tells me the state police had a search warrant for Kettle's home and his client has not yet talked to detectives. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. But first tonight, breaking news. We've confirmed the state police are conducting an active investigation into a state lawmaker. We've learned State Senator Nick Kettle's home was searched by investigators early this morning. Let's get right to Target 12 investigator Tim White with the latest. Tim. Stephen Chan and I just had a very revealing conversation with Senator Kettle's attorney. He tells me the investigation has nothing to do with Kettle as a lawmaker and it's over a breakup with a girlfriend. He added, looking at the case, he does not think his client will be charged, but he does expect Senator Kettle will likely step down as a lawmaker. Early Tuesday morning, state police investigators paid a visit to State Senator Nick Kettle's Coventry home, his house at the end of this long dirt driveway. The colonel of the Coventry police telling Target 12 state troopers were there at around 6 a.m. State Police Lieutenant Colonel Joseph Philbin confirms for Target 12 they have an active investigation but declined to provide more details. Kettle, a 27-year-old Republican, was first elected to the state Senate in 2010. Earlier this month, he was fined $2,000 by the Board of Elections for campaign finance violations, but an elections official says the case was handled as a civil matter, not criminally, and the state police did not ask for Kettle's records. A member of the Finance Committee, Kettle's seat in the Senate was empty Tuesday afternoon at the start of the General Assembly session. 
Again, I spoke with Kettle's attorney, Paul DeMeo, who tells me the state police had a search warrant for Kettle's home. They seized a cell phone from the house and his lawyer later handed over a computer. DeMeo tells me Kettle has not yet talked to state police. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.